awesome. So not only have we got full netherite going on, but I went ahead and organized all my items. And now I'm going to work on getting a better food source so we can get that golden carrot action going on. Yeah, that's like the best food in the game. All that saturation. <clears throat> so much nourishment. And it should be extra easy since we built the villager breeder right next to us here. So let's get to it. So I went ahead and installed these guys right here from the villager breeder right over here. Yeah, it wasn't a hard test. Oops. And uh, it, it looks like I left it on. <laughs> let's go ahead and fix that. Yes. I also went ahead and fixed the villager breeder here. Some of the big guys, as you saw before, were getting stuck down there. So I went ahead and tossed a slab up there and the water is actually back there inside of the slab. So as the villagers get brought over here, they kind of get pushed up by the wall and they kind of were getting stuck on the side between these two blocks right here. So now as soon as the wall pushes them up, their head goes underneath that slab and pushes them along and then they float up and get put over here just like that. As you see, no more villagers on the wrong side, just how we want it. But now we have all the golden carrots that we will ever possibly need. Yes, yes. Mmm, delicious. Thank you. And you know what? Since these guys sell pumpkin pie and cookies, I might as well go ahead and add these to the, uh, the cake shop. The cake stand. Well, I guess it's more like a sweet stand now. I like that. Sweet stand. Well, alright, let's go ahead and stock up the shop. Yeah, this just ain't gonna cut it. Alright, this is much, much better. Instead of the old farm, the watermelon pumpkin farm over here, now we have this automated one. As you can see, the observers sense whenever there's a state change between the watermelons and the pumpkins, and then the pistons break them apart, just like that. And then there's a minecart underneath that goes around and around, picking all of them up. Sorry, a hopper minecart picking all of them up. And it sends them into a couple of dispenser tower or dropper towers and right into here. This will make collecting pumpkins and watermelons to sell to the farmers much quicker. And if we go ahead and take a step on in here, as you can see, I protected the villagers with some gates and added plenty more. So now all we need to do is trade with these guys to get them to their master trades. And once we do, it's going to be cookies and pie for everybody. Delicious. Ah, that's much better. Much prettier. And we got some lighting going on in there because those are jack-o'-lanterns. Perfect. All right, I am back. I decided to take a little tiny trip to the nether as you see here and got three netherite ingots for my tools here and i uh what else should i do i got my pickaxes mm, i think i'm thinking the axe but maybe the shovel or should i do the hoe no just kidding doing the shovel or um uh, no uh i'm thinking the axe yeah the axe instead mainly because in this day and age in this war i really need to defend myself yes and you know what else i need choker boxes okay all right okay i'm safe it's okay. Jumping through that portal is always scary. I don't like it. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that. Uh, I'm super happy that Moo gave me these wings because now I can just do this. <sighs> and Toto even gave me a totem, as you can see. He gave me plenty of totems. So we are pretty, relatively, kind of, sort of not safe. <laughs> um, but hopefully we'll be able to find a city here soon. I just got to avoid where I think other people have gone, so I'm going to kind of go in a diagonal direction, preferably. Because if you don't know, when in-busting, you just want to go in one direction and stick to it. That's the best way to guarantee finding a city as fast as possible. But I still want to stick to the islands because it terrifies me to just go off into the void. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. One time, I just like flew straight into the void, like straight down. Didn't realize I was where I was going. Not at all. Yeah. It happens. Oh, Ender Pro. Um, <laughs> I'll be back with you. And someone's been there. That's cool. Nice. Finally. 
finally found the city. All right. Die, you shulker fame. Yes. Oh, there it is. Are you okay. Get no. Oh, no. No. No, get down. Ah, yes, my precious. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Our first shulker shell. One of many. I plan to get a whole lot. And hopefully a few Elytra. Ah, it's an end ship. I found it, finally. If you don't know, this is where Elytras are located. Yes, yes, I'm sure you already did. You know, it's a pretty well-known fact. But, yes, I'm so glad. And it looks relatively untouched. Let's hope it remains that way. Some potions, delicious. And these shulkers that I'm killing are always in the same position for every single ship, so it's kind of predictable. There's also one on the bottom of the hull. Okay, got a few diamonds. Got the Elytra. Looking pretty good. Ooh, ooh. Some diamond gear. Uh, cursed binding, but whatever. All right. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I think I'm going to get a few more shulker shells and, uh, and rods, of course. And then I'll be out of here. And I'll just go ahead and destroy this. So if anybody does fly by here looking for Elytra, they're not too disappointed. And of course, we can't forget about the head. The good old dragon head. Yeah, confusing thing about Minecraft. You don't get the dragon head from, you know, killing the ender dragon. You get the dragon head from a random pirate ship in this end space dimension thing. Yeah, makes sense. Looking good. Oh yeah, we got plenty of shulker shells, plenty of treasures. We got a backup elytra, and I'm still alive. Plenty of loot, plenty of shulker shells, plenty of stuff. Oh yeah. And as a bonus, this city that we found has a portal right next to it. That is what I call convenient. A success. Let's get on back to the real world. It's time to get building. Okay, I hope you guys really enjoyed that time lapse because I most certainly did. As you can see, I got plenty of stuffs here named, sorted all of the items, got the item frames out, and we have all of the carrots, potatoes, wheat, beetroot, and bone meal that we will ever need. An infinite supply right here in this beautiful, beautiful little package. Okay, now let's take over our supplies as much as possible and trade with some villagers. Now we have plenty of pie, golden carrots, and cookies. So now, if you're on the server and you're looking for some sweets, come on by Skids' Sweet Shop. Alright, it looks like we have a new player on Corecraft, so I made him a little present, as you see, AI's Fun Pack. Let's go give it to him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I see him, I see him. Okay, here we go. A bamba. Hello. Do you like your present? Let's see. Yes, he likes it. Nice, nice, nice. Well, AI, if you're watching, buddy, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad I could help you start. 
your progress on cool craig see you later bud and i like his style he just hopped right on the server and dug straight down that's that's bold that's real bold very bold now he's coming up this is a little awkward and this is like when you say goodbye and then you start walking in the same direction except now i'm making it extra awkward because i'm just staring him straight in his face kind of creepy especially with those big old eyes well glad that i could repay the kindness of Moo. He gave me, uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> but yes, Moo gave me an awesome present as soon as I started on Corecraft. His did have an Elytra and Diamond ar Armor and everything, so, uh, mine's not quite as good, but I hope that it is suitable enough. It'll help AI in his progress, like I said, get him started on the server, and, um, yeah, I gave him plenty of iron, so that'll help a lot. I mean, you can get plenty of iron at the community district uh, iron farm but um, that I made, and that's where I got it, but uh, maybe he doesn't know about that yet, so you're welcome. <laughs> and with that good deed done, we're going to call it for today. Until next time, a keep a learning. Bye-bye.